Oh, oh, I have a somewhat obscure beer, at least for people who only follow like American beers. Got Harvestoon's Old Engine Oil. So Harvestoon, they don't make a lot of beers that get sent to America. You used to see like a strong version of this that was aged in all sorts of different scotch barrels. Um, it was called like their Harvest Ale, I think. And that one's really good, but this is just their standard old engine oil. It's, they call it like a porter. It's 6%, but it's extremely robust. It's not your common English porter that, you know, those are usually like 5 to 5.5%. Five and, and they aren't pitch black and they're not real thick. They're dry. Um, this is everything. It's, it's quite dry and bitter. It's thick, very dark, um, full of English hops. And they use oatmeal in this. So, but it doesn't really quite fit the oatmeal stout category. I think that's why they don't call it oatmeal stout because oatmeal stouts in England tend to be a little bit sweet. Um, not that black and roasty and bitter. So this one kind of has its own little category. Um, and now they do it in cans. It's still kind of expensive, but I think it's definitely worth it. If you see that, the the, the stream coming out of the can isn't pitch black. Ooh, very, very, very carbonated. But if you look at the head, it's quite dark. And most Americans, if you gave this, if I got this in a wine tasting, I would be like, this is some kind of robust stout. Um, and I probably wouldn't call it an oatmeal stout either. We can see that that is pitch black. I cannot see my finger through that at all. Even if you put a flashlight up to it, you couldn't really see through that. I can kind of, kind of see some ruby tones in the bottom, but it's not your normal English porter. Mmm. It smells so, this like really rich, dark chocolate and kind of oily and more of a light, lighter roast coffee, but really, really chocolatey. And some Hints of hops in there. I'm not sure how fresh this can is. Honestly, it's definitely not old or aged or anything. But this reminds me of some of my favorite sort of small batch American porters that are more on the robust side, like uh, Everett from Hill Farmstead. Super hard to get. That one's stronger. And stuff made around here, like the briefcase porter from. Um, Exhibit A, that one's really good. That's the lower alcohol than this. That's 5.4. Um, and 34, Porter from Idle Hands. That one's a little bit stronger. But all those kind of use more American hops. This is doing an intensely hop, intense hop, you know, schedule in the brewing process. But I'm pretty sure they use mostly just English hops, which no American brewer really uses them in a high amount. And that head is just amazing looking. It's just like super thick and dense. Soapy, lots of tiny, rich bubbles. Mm, it just smells like the perfect roast. <sighs> just a little bit of char. Mm. The mouthfeel isn't really thick and syrupy, but it's got weight to it. And it finishes lots of char, like woodsy, wood roasted, almost charred marshmallows, but not very sweet and a good amount of bitterness. I think it's coming from woodsy English herbal hops, definitely. But also at the same time, all of the dark roasted malt. And it's just a beer that, it, I, I was trying to suggest things that, like they make in America, but this is just a unique thing. There's so many beers made in England that are just not hip in Americans. Uh, craft beer culture these days and this is one of them and then there's also like English bitters but uh, I think this is a great beer and it shouldn't be so hard to find these days and I would highly recommend it mm. and even though it's not a massive mouthfeel it's only six percent it's kind of silky even though it's bitter it has a definite dryness to it it's just amazing how it's so chocolatey smelling at first, at first really, really, you know, dark, 
uh, cacao, and then it gets woodsy and bitter and really smoky, and the char comes out like a dark roast coffee, Italian roast, or espresso, but with more bitterness than espresso has. But it, it retains that chocolate, toasted, marshmallow type aroma. It's an extremely complex beer. And the oats are definitely bringing their own kind of creaminess. Um, it's probably helping to keep that slight sweetness, the slight, the slight like a, you know, toasted marshmallow sort of thing. I often get malted milk balls from oatmeal stouts. And there's, there is some of that, but man, is it bitter and charred in the finish. And the head is just sticking around. It's like pretty, pretty amazing. I love this beer. I'd give it a four and a half. I wish I could get something like this made locally. But there are some that are pretty close to it. But the only thing is that they don't, you know, the, very few have this amazing head that sticks around and the mouthfeel like this. And they also don't use all English hops. Mm. Yes, very, very good. Don't pass up old engine oil.